el señor secretario Durazo. At a Wednesday morning news conference, Omero Mendoza, General Secretary of the Defense, which often deals with high-profile crimes, told reporters a criminal group belonging to the Juarez cartel ordered the massacre in northern Mexico. We assume it's a criminal organization called La Linea. We believe they carried out these aggressions against the LeBaron family. The LeBaron family are U.S.-born Mormons living in Mexico's northern Chihuahua state. They've been known to denounce drug trafficking organizations there, and their family has been targeted in previous years with kidnappings and other murders. This attack was especially violent. Six children, three mothers. There should be ethics. I don't know. There needs to be justice here. Today I heard the government, the Mexican president, saying this is a free and sovereign state. Where's the freedom in this? It's tough. No. Yo no sé. O sea. Seven children survived the shootings. Some were taken to this hospital in Tucson, Arizona, for emergency care. Okay. Mexico's foreign secretary says because the victims were dual U.S.-Mexican citizens, the FBI will be allowed to follow up on aspects of the investigation. Marcelo Ebrard says the incident will not affect U.S.-Mexico relations. I would not expect this issue to become a focus or a point of disagreement between Mexico and the United States. It is a binational community, and we are going to act together. Meantime, Mexican security forces have set up checkpoints in the northern states of Sonora and Chihuahua, and their hunt for the gunmen who killed the nine members of the LeBaron family continues. Frank Contreras, CGTN, Mexico City.